I've been a member of Eckington Cub Scouts now f since 1976 as a cub leader and an assistant cub leader. Um, and we came to this building around 1982. Uh, it was offered to us by uh, Bradley Lomas Electronics as we had to leave the church hall because it had to become self-sufficient. We couldn't afford to pay the rent. Um, so this was quite derelict when we arrived here. And thanks to parents and donations, um, we built it into this building it is now. Unfortunately, last winter, uh, the floods and the frost, uh, we suffered devastating damage due to the boiler not working. Uh, the temperature dropped so low, uh, the frost stat didn't work on the boiler. Um, by the time we got down here to check on everything, the hall was about three inches deep in water and um, it was everywhere and the tables were wet through and everything. So we eventually got the water turned off by Seven Trent because it was out in the street and um, we had the heating on running constantly for two weeks which resulted in the ceiling uh, almost coming in on us. The floor did eventually dry out, but a lot of the damage has been irreparable. We've had to have a new kitchen, courtesy of the Coalfield Regeneration Board, with new lighting and a new utilities board. We're still many thousands of pounds short uh, in restoring this building to what it should be. And I'm getting on in years, my husband's 70, and we want to leave a legacy for the children of Eckington have a brand new, almost spanking, fit for use scout headquarters that can also be used by the wider um, population of Eggington. There's nowhere for these children to go at present. They learn such valuable skills. We turn out some fantastic kids, children, who go on to achieve Queen Scouts, Duke of Edinburgh Awards. We've had chief inspectors of police, we've had a consultant cardiothoracic surgeon, we've had a lot of very good people, uh, good citizens, and we're in the process now of having some of those parents bringing their children to our group. So there's a tremendous sense of pride in what we have done for Eckington. I'm Jim Jesson, I'm a local parish councillor, and I've been interested in the Scouts for a long time. My son, a long time ago, uh, was a scout uh, and he came here I think everybody will admit it's never been a palace this place um, but now they've taken a hell of a hard knock and I would appeal to all the residents and businesses in Eckington to help out if you've got any manpower you can you can lend to the to the project or any cash that you can donate to the project it will be well received we are appealing to the general public for uh, donations and, and also manpower because um, it, once we get the equipment and the paint and stuff people can come and help us to decorate uh, and in actual fact we have been um, offered help from Seven Trend who although they can't help us out financially have said that they will come and help us to do some repair work, painting work or gardening um, to help us get us back on our feet again. This hut or hall has been used not only for the scouts but for local public meetings as well so it would be the loss of an, an amenity if they couldn't carry on with this place. Well we've had um, Sainsbury's have let us do backpacking there and one of my cub parents and scout parents Nicola works for Lloyd's TSB Bank and they have very generously uh, price matched the money that we collected so we've actually doubled the revenue which has helped pay this enormous water bill off. Um, it's sad that all the money that we've raised in fundraising the children have not benefited yet um, by going on trips and expeditions but hopefully if the donations keep coming in uh, next year they will get a very happy holiday.